Hey, good morning. Chuck here with Apple Drains. This is Robert, and he is a DIY. He's so excited to show part two of his installation, and I think you guys will learn a lot of what it really takes to install a drainage system all by yourself. So here's Robert in Myrtle Beach. Do you enjoy drainage videos? Check out our top five YouTube channels at the end of this video. Robert lives in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. He is a retired Lieutenant Colonel from the U.S. Army and he's been watching our channel for quite some time. Decided to tackle a project himself. Take a look at all of the images and all of the work that he's put into this project. This is part two of this project and if you don't see the first part, I will post the link, you know, in the description box so you can see the beginning of this project. Take a look at what Robert's been doing here all by himself. Hello, welcome back to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. An update on my backyard drainage problem. Today I had a little bit more motivation and felt a little better than yesterday. What did I actually get accomplished today? Big step. I got the last eight feet Of the trench line finished. And I got the line all the way to the sump basin. Also I went and bought another sump basin and attached the two together. I used a few screws and on the outside I put some landscape fabric and some tape. It came out pretty good and you can see the total pits about 36 inches deep. According to Chuck's do's and don'ts of sump basins, I'm at a good distance to get the drop I need to activate the pump. I'm right at the handle on the pump, correction, the piece on the pump that protects the flow. So I think I'm good. What else did I do? That took about three hours this morning. And after that, I went to Lowe's and started getting my components for the discharge line. I put the M98 together. I got my riser, my 3 16th inch drill bit hole, my check valve. I've got my elbow to come out of the sub basin, my no hub. I've got my connector to go from my one and a half to the two inch. And then I've got the two inch to the three inch with a discharge. I will say that two inch PVC pipe is pretty intimidating. Lowe's didn't have any down so they had to get a forklift and I came really close just to going ahead and get the inch and a half. But hey, Chuck recommends going to two inch. I'm going to go to two inch and get it right. So I guess that's about it for today. What I plan to do tomorrow is I'm going to start backfilling the trench. I'm going to fill it as um, high as I can, just below the level of where I want the discharge line. It's going to take a while because I get pretty particular about what I'm doing and I want to try to get rid of it, much of this clay. So I'm going to weed through it, sift out some of the clay, and pour the rest back in the trench line. All right, that's the end of day four. We'll keep you posted. Take care. Welcome back to Myrtle Beach and day five of my drainage situation. What did I do today? First thing I did today was come out and I drilled my four inch hole into the bottom of the sump basin and tied in my corrugated four inch PVC pipe. Then I went down to the far end, disregard that white pipe for now, I'll get back to that. I went down to this end of the trench line and I cut the top off of that catch basin, the riser. Just for your information, I did find this riser, it's 24 inches tall by 6 inches at Home Depot for only $9. So it's a cheaper version, but it works okay. Then what I did is I went to the 
drain box that was in place by the contractor right here that drains out over this bank to the back street but it's not slope grade so it doesn't drain too well. I decided to keep that box in place because it does get some water out and underground here I'll provide a photo I put in a T and then I connected it to the main trench line. Right here I didn't have enough corrugated pipe so I had to make a connector. I used, used Chuck's idea of taking a small piece, splitting it, and then just inserting it into both ends of the pipe. Worked pretty good. Then I went back down to the other end and I started to backfill. And after about three or four shovels, I thought, man, what if something's not right? What should I do? So I did decided to put the hose in it and see what would happen. I put the hose in at the far end at that catch basin and I waited. And I waited. And I waited. And eventually, water started coming in to the sump basin. I was happy. And I did discover back at the other end where I connected the old catch basin and the new T and where I connected the two pieces of pipe together, a little water was dripping into the trench line. I thought, oh my God. Then I remembered, no, these aren't watertight seals. They'll be fine. So I came down to the other end and I started backfilling to the level I wanted my discharge line. Then I put the sump pump together. I got my no hub, got it out of the sump basin into the trench line. And then I discovered another problem I'm gonna have. You can see my trench turns. So I think what I'm gonna do right here is just get another no hub, connect those two, and then come down here where I'm making the change to the two inch to the three inch. Oh, I just have to find some other kind of connector. I haven't solved that one yet, but we'll see what happens. A short day today, because me and the wife have been taking ballroom dancing classes for about five years. And tonight, one of our organizations is having their first dance in 15 months. So we're going. Okay, that's it for today. Back at it tomorrow. Take care. Welcome to day six of my backyard drainage problem. Well, I survived ballroom dancing. Believe it or not, that was our first outing in 15 months. We haven't been to a restaurant or anywhere except uh, maybe the neighbor's driveway in 15 months. But hey, life is changing and we're back at it. First of all, I want to make a little correction to yesterday's video in the PVC pipe sizes. I think I mentioned something about two inches to three inches, but hey, here's the bottom line. Coming out of the sump pump, I have one and a half inches. And then I go down my trench line, I've got these rubber couplings, and eventually I turn to two inches. That's it. Now I had to email Chuck and ask him for some guidance on this. And I'll tell you what, we and me, I, be, I believe I'm very blessed and fortunate to have Chuck mentoring me through this process. He's a businessman trying to make a living and sometimes I have reservations about sending him emails and questions. I think maybe he doesn't want to be bothered. He has been so encouraging, so positive, and so responsive. Responsive. Chuck, I hope you realize what a hero you are. You make a difference every day in someone's life. I truly appreciate you and Apple Drains. You're making a difference every day. So what did I do today? Oh my God, was it a tough day. I got down here to the end of my trench line where I wanted to make my 90 degree and go out to the back bank. I started digging, it, w it was some of the toughest digging I've done so far. So you can see what I had to do is call out some of the, the big guns. 
I had my reciprocating saw. I borrowed two pickaxes from neighbors, a small one and a large one, and whatever it took to get me through this trench line. The problem here was this trench line right at the surface was that hard clay. So I started digging and I got it trenched out all the way through the trench line back to my discharge point. More to follow on that. Very tough digging, but hey, we got it in place. Then what we did is we tested the system and it seemed to work pretty good. I'll, I'll send another video that shows you the update on that. But again, what I did, 1.5 inch coming out of the sump basin. I got these rubber hubs because they gave me the flexibility I need to turn in my trench line. Then right here, I turned from 1.5 inch to two inch. I followed down the trench line. I put the deep couplings like Chuck, Chuck suggested to connect them all together. Follow down the trench line, hey, Keep digging, keep digging. Another deep coupling. Hey, keep digging, keep digging. A nice 90 and went out the back bank. Okay, did it work? Oh my God, yes. I'll post a video here next to show you how it works. Appreciate it, keep you posted. All right, here's that video I talked about on showing you how the system works so far. I'm using an extension cord right now because I have to do some work on my electrical outlet, but we'll get that. So I've just put the hose into the system. We're gonna let it slowly fill and show you that the pump initiates. Filling slow. I will say I was getting paranoid when I was first watching this, wondering, is it gonna go? Is it gonna go? It finally kicked in. Still filling. Still going. There it goes. Kick in. Second water. And then the splash is from that 3 inch hole I drilled. Now we'll walk down to the other end and let you see the discharge. You can see the pipe. Everything's sealed up tight. No leaks. And again, we talked about this. Top digging. And there's my discharge. I gotta do some work on it because I'm not satisfied with how it discharges. It squirts back on me. It'll be okay once I backfill. Okay, let's wait and see what happens. And waiting. It really squirts. Hold on to your hat. Waiting. All right, making me nervous. I guess I could have turned the hose up higher. Just be patient. Like I said, this part digging right here was real tough today. I had to pull out the tools and there you go. Right now it's spraying right back into my trench, but we'll fix that. There you go, discharge works. Have a great day. Keep after it. Wow, what a great, great project, Robert. You just showed everyone what it really takes to you know, install a backyard system with a sump pump and solve that backyard problem. Thank you so much, Robert. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Okay, here's this week's top five drainage channels. They're not in any particular order, just channels that I think you guys would really enjoy to watch and you'll actually learn something.
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.